We begin with Yemen's Houthi rebels who've released footage of their military wing hijacking a cargo ship in the Red Sea. The footage is very dramatic and it shows the Iranian-backed group landing on the ship, it's called the Galaxy Leader, in a helicopter before the crew storms that ship, taking crew members hostage. A Houthi spokesperson says the rebels commandeered the ship because it was owned by an Israeli and warned they view any ships with links to Israel as legitimate military targets. Israel has said the ship is British owned and Japanese operated and called the seizure an Iranian act of terror. Iran denies any involvement in that hijacking. Sky's Dominic Waghorn has more on this from Jerusalem. It is a worrying development, an escalation in the war uh, far beyond Gaza, now onto the high seas off uh, the coast of uh, Yemen and Saudi Arabia in the, in the Red Sea. What that gunman was shouting there in the, the hold of this uh, vehicle carrying vessel, the galaxy leader was uh, God is great, Allah Awakba, and then he uh, shouts uh, death to America, death to Jews, death to Israel, here we are, Gaza. So uh, very explicitly linking this operation, this hijacking operation um, with Gaza in the minds of the uh, Yemeni Houthi rebels carrying it out. And then we heard a little later from a Yemeni uh, Houthi spokesman uh, saying uh, that they claim responsibility for this extraordinary act of high seas piracy, not his words, mine, um, and then also warning any other Israeli-linked shipping could uh, f uh, f suffer a, a similar fate. The vessel, the, the Galaxy Leader, is registered in the Isle of Man, we understand, but it is uh, operated by a Japanese company, but it is owned by a company uh, linked with one of Israel's richest men, a man called Abraham Ramiunga, um, who uh, didn't have anything to say to the Associated Press when asked about this earlier today, um, but said he was looking into the incident and looking for more um, information. Um, so it's clearly an Israeli-linked vessel, um, and this is uh, a dramatic escalation, astonishing pictures. The Houthis are known for a land-based insurgency in Yemen. They're not known for this kind of maritime operation. They've raised their game in that sense, but also in terms of producing uh, almost cinematic quality footage. So they are very proud of this. They've dragged the vessel back to Hodeida port in Yemen. They're making the most of this. And, of course, the key fact here, Mark, of course, is the Houthi rebels are supported, patronised, trained and armed by Iran. Now, the Iranians say that all their allies around the region operate on their own logic and, and are entitled to do what they want to do. But the fact that an Iranian-backed proxy group in Yemen has, has, a, has hijacked an Israeli-linked vessel is something that will be worrying not just the Israelis, but also the Americans, and raises the possibility of this conflict deepening, expanding and becoming even more worrying for the region.